okay. Enough. <laughs> Enough. Thank you. All right. Look, you get it? it does, here's the deal. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. The fact that Ditech's running a TV commercial every 10 seconds, no points, no fees, no nothing, doesn't make any difference. What other people do is irrelevant, only what's important is what you do. The second thing to understand here is that it's difficult business right now, so what did they do? They essentially sort of reinvented the business. So now they were charging the fee, but now four different streams of income, four different ways to get paid on the same transaction, what does that allow you to do? Spend more money to get the client in the first place. See, arguably now, any one of those four income streams everybody else is out there trying to get a client for, they're getting one client doing four things to them, collecting four fees. Okay? Jason. Jason was uh, in our winner's weekend group last year from, uh, how, 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 what caused you to get there? From the Gold Plus contest. Gold Plus contest, that's, that's right. And Jason's a great story because he's charging for what everybody's giving away. Yep. So you got seven quality minutes, man. Knock it out. My name is Jason Mars, and I compete with free. What that means is my wife, Issa, and I have a pediatric speech-language pathology practice. We help children to speak, eat, and socialize. We're in New York and Westchester County, and the government there gives away those services for free. They do not care how much money you have. You can be Bill Gates, doesn't matter, free. We charge $200 an hour. We have a twice-a-week minimum. We don't take health insurance, nor do we take credit cards. In case you think we get away with that because there's, uh, we're the only game in town, I can assure you there is no shortage of competition. There's another speech therapist recently said to me, owns a big agency, said there's a speech therapy practice on every corner. And coincidentally, she's also telling me how many of her therapists she was getting through laying off. Meanwhile, we're having our best year ever. Um, I'm going to cut this down a little bit because my original deal was 10 minutes, so I'm going to kind of blow through this. We uh, also charge for drive time, which nobody else does. We have... We have parents that pay as much as $600 for one hour of therapy. All the free services, no charge. There are some fee-based services that exist, none of them charge. Uh, the closest rate we have to us is $160 an hour, and she's a world-renowned expert. Our strategy is to stretch the top. We go after the top 10%, we do everything we can to fulfill their needs and get more of them, and thereby make them the average and keep chasing that top higher and higher and have our rates follow suit. We, uh, part of being able to do that is positioning as an expert and trusted authority. You can't just say we're the best. You can't say we'll fix your child guaranteed. Doesn't matter if it's true. We can lose our license for saying that. So we have to create a position that allows parents to come to the natural conclusion that we're the best place for their child. Part of that comes from results-based testimonials. Part of that comes from saying who we really want in our practice versus who we don't want in our practice. And part of that comes from the backstory. And in a very quick nutshell, that goes like this. My wife started working with special needs children when she was only 15 years old. And from that time, she knew she wanted to work with children and help them communicate. And then after she goes off to college, she has to go on for a master's degree. And she's undaunted by a 2,000-mile commute to the southwestern United States, go study under this expert, fly back in the winters to work in New York, back down to study, stays out there for a period of time, comes back, discovered by a world-renowned expert, which is the one I mentioned earlier, leaves that practice. We start this one and now have clients that drive over an hour each way, several times a week, just to get her services. We don't know anybody that has that. Uh, some more of the, of the positioning is published articles. We get them in uh, local magazines, papers, have a content-rich website, newsletter, ads, special reports. Part of what we have to do in that is talk about how we're different. We have to re-educate the population because the population there is very predisposed to expecting and demanding free services. So what we do is we talk about problems within the industry is one of the things we talk about. For example, the use of unlicensed therapists, which the government programs happen to be bad about doing. So we give parents the tools to figure out what the qualifications of their therapist is, if they have one or if they're looking for one. We also teach them how to get the right therapist for their child, which is ultimately what they have to do if they want to make the most progress in the least amount of time. Um, we also do damning omissions. We admit that this is not right for every therapist. We admit our practice isn't right, I mean, right for every child. We admit our practice isn't right for every child, or, or my wife is. Um, we admit that early in her career, she fell into the trap of using this therapy style called oral motor therapy for articulation. Now, if anybody out here has a child who's receiving speech therapy, there's an 85% chance that your therapist is using this technique, and all the evidence shows it doesn't work. Far be it from us to not point that out. 
Um, we try to create an experience when they come through the door. We actually do it with our marketing as well, you know, like Dan does with his when he sends things FedEx. We're not quite FedEx, but we do send out our materials priority when people request them. Uh, once they come through our door, we're located in a very affluent community. We uh, aren't exactly conveniently located. We have a very large waiting room, which nobody has. Everybody has these little in-a-box waiting rooms. It's hot, it's sweaty, the kids are screaming, you want to get out. Ours, we have designer chairs that are kid-friendly, that go around the outside edge, brightly colored, have uh, big windows down the side, and a play area in the middle that leaves enough space for the parents can sit comfortably while the kids play, but they're not so far apart that they don't communicate with each other about what's going on. And that's something we really try to facilitate once they come into our practice that makes it about more than speech therapy, about more than coming to see an expert. It makes it then about making a connection. And we find that parents come in, they make these connections, they do things with each other outside of our practice. We find they also come early, they stay late. And in some instances, especially in the winter months when it's cold, we have parents that come on days when their children aren't even receiving speech therapy. Now, how many of you are going to your speech therapist or any health professional on a day that you're not supposed to be there just to hang out? Nobody. This is something we go out of our way to get going. Uh, we do it with client meals. We'll do it with go out and, you know, somebody new comes in, we go out there and introduce them, get them shaking hands, get them communicating. Uh, do the gifts, birthdays, holidays. We individualize it for the child. Uh, something else you'll find interesting is our client of the month newsletter or what, our client of the month award that we put in our newsletter and uh, what this really does aside from getting the parents to read the newsletter it gets them excited, it gets them to take action because everybody's a little bit competitive, they want to see their kid win so they do more and more and more to get their kid encouraged to go along the better the kid does, the happier they are, the happier they are, the more they refer to us so it's a win-win all the way around uh, we guarantee, like I say, I can't guarantee we're going to fix your child. But, for example, with speech therapy, parents come in, got to have this, got to have this, it won't take any other therapist. Okay, well, this is booked up. And this is the therapist we happen to think would be the right one for your child. And tell you what, even if we're recommending five times a week therapy, we will give you 30 days with this therapist. If you're not absolutely thrilled, we'll give you all your money back and put you on her waiting list. Everybody takes it. Everybody stays. Nobody comes back and says, oh, I want my money back and on the waiting list. This has worked out great for us. Uh, we're also very fast to resolve disputes. Come down on the client's side as much as possible, especially if they're good clients, especially if there's any ambiguity. Uh, we implement their suggestions quickly. Like I said before, we try to do everything we can to find out what it is they want and like. So we can do that for them and we do it quickly because then they have it in their head, hey wait a minute, I just suggested that yesterday, now it's being done. And we do everything we can to make that happen. Um, as far as raising our rates on our current clients, what we did, we didn't really feel right and that, you know, is one of those things we may have to overcome doing that to our current clients. So we said, look, so long as you don't know, show us more than, more than twice in a 12 month period, so long as you stay on time on your payments, so long as you don't miss more than two weeks for any reason, because we're doing extremely affluent people, so they'll take two weeks, month, two month vacations. I mean, these are just what they do. Uh, so if they pay to hold their spot, then they have an incremental increase in their prices versus being bumped $50 an hour, which is what we did last year. We're about to do similar once I get back from here we're again, and we're, we're going to do the same kind of deal with them. Uh, anyway, that's about all the time I have. I do think that if I can do this against free, anybody ought to be able to do this. If you've got somebody who's charging prices, it doesn't matter how low they are. I've got a free report you can get, peakprice.com. Check it out. My name is Jason Mars. Hope you enjoyed what I had to say. Thank you. Jason. Yeah. It was a fair average client value. What's, your, what's your average client value, if you don't mind? Uh, before we bumped the rate, it was at 4000 it's going up over that. We have clients that have uh, in excess of $30,000 with us. And, and they could go get all these services for they free? They can get them all for free. And what do your peers think about you guys? Uh, we don't pay attention to them too much. <laughs> I mean, we, we have, you know, some of the marketing we've done, we've had, you know, that's, that's who calls up mad. We'll have other therapists, oh, you're, you're going to run your reputation. This is a small community, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. You know, we, we just keep getting bigger and bigger. They keep having more and more problems, and, you know, we're happy they're not. So who cares what they think? 
Cool. Thanks, Jason. There you go.